Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, I'm going to be showing you a new mill tank. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting a new mill tank card. And I suppose while we're here, I should probably also mention that we're getting a reprint of Moo Moo Milk. But more on that in a moment. So, mill tank then. I remember getting super excited about the mill tank that did 80 damage if you had a stage 2 on the bench. And like everybody else, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to play it with Valplume. And then they're going to be item locked and they're not going to be able to get set up. And this was when we had Forest of Giant Plants. And I was going to like win every game for one energy. And then I'd play against something like a Lucario EX that would draw nothing except a strong energy. And absolutely battered me. In a couple of turns. Boo, hiss, etc. Hopefully the new mill tank can be a little bit better. Now it's still a colourless Pokemon. It's a normal Pokemon. This is not great to be perfectly honest. It means you've got a weakness to Boswell. Which of course brings me flashbacks like, you know, when I played Lucario. And it means you don't get any extra tricks. So you do have double colourless energy for your attack. Although you can have that on non-colourless Pokemon a lot of the time. Retreat cost of 3 is very high and Floatstone has rotated out. It's not looking great. But I will say it's got 130 HP, which means it won't be KO'd by something like a Zoroark or a Golisopod, unless Golisopod uses its GX attack. So you know what? At least we've got 130, which is a lot better than the old mill tank that had a solid, nice, even ton. Which, to be honest, isn't that solid. Now, it's only got one attack. And it's basically a really good one, if a little bit weird. It's for free colorless energy, and it says... Reveal as many Moo Moo Milk cards from your hand as you like. This attack does 60 damage for each card you revealed. The wording here is very, very important. And our translation, of course, comes from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm willing to bet David's got this right. David is awesome. You see, if it said it does 60 for each Moo Moo Milk in your hand then you would essentially have to show your entire hand. That would give your opponent a whole bunch of information as to what's in your hand, what you might do the following turn, etc. You do not want to be showing your opponent the contents of your hand. That is rarely a good thing. So here you can have three or four Moo Moo Milk in your hand, but you're sitting here opposite a Tapu Coco and just be like, I'm showing you two Moo Moo Milk. Maybe I've got more in my hand, maybe I don't. If it said you did 60 for each one in your hand, you'd have to show your hand. As it is, you can show as many cards as you like, hide the others. That's a really important linguistical difference here. So, four Moomy Milk in your hand, 240 damage. 240 damage is nuts, ladies and gentlemen. 240 damage is... It's everything. It's basically everything. We've got a few Pokemon out there like Metagross GX and Incineroar, which are up to 250. But I don't really care. Because first of all, you can play a Choice Band. And second of all, don't play a Choice Band. I mean, do play a Choice Band as well, but play Shrine of Punishment. It's a non-GX. Now, and this makes the numbers beautiful. Free Moo Moo Milk. And a Shrine of Punishment, Boswell goes down. Four Moo Moo Milk and a Shrine of Punishment, Metagross goes down. Or you can do two Moo Moo Milk, plus a Choice Band, plus Shrine of Punishment's been down after your turn and your opponent's, and you're up to 170, and then Tapu Lele goes down. This is a great, great attack, as long as you have... Moo Moo Milk in your hand. And honestly, yes, for some Pokemon, you're going to need four in hand. Most of the time here, three Moo Moo Milk's all you're going to need. Of course, one could be prized, but you're generally only going to need three Moo Moo Milk here. So, at this stage, we should probably pause to look at what Moo Moo Milk does. What Moo Moo Milk does is what Moo Moo Milk has always done. Though I feel I'm saying Moo Moo Milk a bit too often. As a side note, and we did talk about this in... Uh, when I did a band video a little while ago. What is the artwork on this old card of Moo Moo Milk from Neo Genesis? What is that? It was changed for when it was released over here. Now, to be fair, it's not actually what it's always done. The initial Moo Moo Milk 
flip two coins and remove two damage counters for each head. But since we've had Moomoo Milk coming back in like Heart Gold, Soul Silver and possibly earlier, it's three damage counters for each head. So you flip two coins, for each head you heal 30 damage. Which is a little bit like, well how good is this actually? Because on average you should hit one head and it, it's just a potion. Yeah? That's not terribly inspiring. Now there'll be turns you hit two heads, one in four in fact, where you hit two heads and you're like, yay, now I heal 60. But there will be, statistically speaking at least, exactly as many turns where you hit zero heads and heal nothing. Now Moo Moo Milk's not getting a video on its own. Moo Moo Milk is not a good enough card to get a video on its own. I'm not saying no one's going to play Moo Moo Milk, and I think people may, but I'm saying that as a healing card, the thing to remember is that a little while ago they upped Potion from 20 to 30. So if we look at the Potion from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, that Potion only healed 20. In that context, Moo Moo Milk healing 30 for each head means that on average you'll heal 30, and actually that's 10 more than you would from Potion, meaning it's totally worth playing Potion. But that's not the case here, ladies and gentlemen. Nowadays it's just a Potion. So, Moo Moo Milk, I mean, look, you can go super aggressive and try and heal loads if you really want. I'm fine with that. But honestly here... It's not worth playing as an item card on its own. It's cute and it's fine and all of that. It's not a reason to play it. You play it because of Miltank. And essentially here, as soon as you get free Moo Moo Milk in your hand, you are absolutely loving this. It becomes really, 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 really good. Okay, you've got to get to that point. But as soon as you do, it's awesome. Now, there's several things we can use to help us here. Clearly, something like Macargo allowing you to put whatever card you want on the top of your deck is great here. That's really nice. And heck, you can even play Steven's Resolve here. Now, I know Steven's Resolve does end your turn. But remember, this is basically a basic Pokemon. You can use this to search out free Moo Moo Milk. Or you can use it to search out two Moo Moo Milk and a double colorless energy. Because, of course, you're going to need double colorless energy, and that's going to work out absolutely beautifully here. I like this. Now, there are some huge downsides. The one obvious one, which I don't need to talk about anymore, is the fact that you've got to get all of the Moo Moo Milk in your hand. And I'm just assuming you've got ways around that. Whether it's Macargo, probably combined with Orangaroo, or whether it's Steven's Resolve or whatever, I'm assuming you're going to be able to do it. You really need double colourless energy here, which is a bit of a pain. And that means you're going to be vulnerable to stuff like Enhanced Hammer and the newly revealed Faber, which is a supporter card that not only will get rid of a double colourless, but will actually put it into the Lost Zone, which is kind of terrifying, to be honest. Some people have told me that card's a bit overrated. Other people have told me it's full-on broken. I'll let you decide where you come down on that. But the fact of the matter is, you've got to have an energy and a double colourless, that's a bit awkward. The other thing is, we're losing N, which is great. In a format with N, this would never work. Because the second you've got a decent amount of Moo Moo Milk in your hand, your opponent would just play an N to reset your hand. We don't have N. There'll be Judge, which some people are playing, but there's also Marshadow. Marshadow saw a weirdly large amount of play at the World Championships. I did mention this in a video, I'll pop a link in the description. But Marshadow saw a lot of play at the World Championships. And I think that's going to continue. And Marshadow is going to be a real pain in the neck for this particular Pokemon. Because the second your opponent drops a Marshadow, it gives both players a new hand of four cards. It means you're shuffling your hand into your deck, it means you're losing those Moo Moo Milk. That's a bit of a pain. So look, this is not an easy card to use. If it was just for a double colorless, I'd like it a lot more, but it's for free energy. Means you're super reliant on double colorless and you'll need another energy as well. And you've got to have the Moo Moo Milk in your hand and you're vulnerable to stuff like Marshadow. And of course, you're not really playing the Moo Moo Milk here. You could in a real disaster scenario but you're rarely going to want to. Remember, Puzzle of Time has rotated out now, so unless you're using something like Bayonet's GX attack, you're really not going to be able to recover these. So that's going to be a problem.
And then as soon as you've got like three of these in your hand, Orangaroo then becomes pointless because you need to keep them in your hand. There's some downsides to this. I get it. But you can hit 240 with a non-GX single prize Pokemon. And yes, it's weak to Boswell, but Boswell will need their once per game Beast Energy and their once per game Diancy Prism Star in order to get a one hit KO. While you're one hit KOing anyway, I ain't scared of Boswell. If you get this attack working, Boswell shouldn't scare you. Getting it working is the issue. I'm giving it three wassies. I expect it to be played and played around with and tested. Whether we can consistently get it rolling enough, that is the big question. But I want to hear from you. Do you think you can get it rolling consistently enough? Do you think it's going to be good? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but do remember the rule, please. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassie, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... PTCG Radio.